Hello and welcome to this Google Earth Pro tutorial. I'm going to show you how to plan out your power pump system using this program. There is a web version of Google Earth, but it doesn't work as well, and the Pro version is free to download, so I recommend you using this. So once you've downloaded the program and set it up, you'll open it up to see something like this. Have a play around, scroll to zoom in and out, and click and drag to maneuver. You can also test the icons in the top right corner. You can search for your location with the search bar in the top left here. So I've got an example site here. The farm is up here with the stream running below it. We'll be using the tools in the top left here to plan out our system. Note that the grid references and elevation in the bottom right is linked to your cursor, so as you move it, these will change. So looking at the lie of the land here, we can see the stream running down the shallow valley with the farm up on top. Now this is where we want the water, so I'm going to drop the, a placement to mark the storage tank for the water delivery. Now the catchment point wants to be as high up the stream as you can get while still having a reliable flow, which I know to be here. As we place it, we're going to check the ground elevation in the bottom right. Now I want to generate a supply head by taking the water across the land contour, so I'm going to check the lay of the land and pick a suitable place for the supply tank on some sloping ground. Check the elevation again to make sure that it's at the same level as the catchment tank. Now place the pump chamber back down at the stream level like so. Now we can use the ruler tool to draw the pipes in and record the distances. Now I'm using the line for neatness but you can follow the contour with a path to get a more accurate pipe length. So that's the feed pipe and now we'll put in the supply pipe. So we're taking the pump chamber elevation away from the supply tank elevation and we know that we have 9 meters of head. So dividing the supply pipe length by this gives a gradient of about 20 which is not ideal so we need to shorten this supply pipe. To do this we'll move the supply tank downhill by a couple of meters of elevation and make it above ground by 2 meters. We can also make the pump chamber two meters below ground and dig the drain downstream so the exhaust water still runs away. So the cross section of the system now looks like this. I've now put the delivery pipe in. You could go point to point to save on pipe length, but it's usually cheaper to save on labor and use existing trenches like so. Now you want to mark down all your pipe lengths and check your gradients. We've now got a head of 12 metres over a 112 metre stretch, giving us a gradient of about 1 in 9, which is OK. We can calculate our delivery head as well to be 34 metres. You can mark down all of this on our useful shopping list printout on our website and calculate your system costs based on your supplier's prices. You can also check your system's delivery by using our calculator. Here's another example site with the farm up here and the river below. So we'll put the storage tank up by the farm. This isn't necessary. You can store the water at the highest point on your land and then gravity feed everywhere else. Now the land by the river is very flat, so we'll have to take the water over a distance to generate a head. We'll put the catchment tank in the corner here and mark the elevation. And the supply tank can go over here with the pump chamber right next to it. This gives us three meters supply head with the supply tank being 2 metres above ground and the pump chamber being 1 metre below ground, like so. A 12 metre supply pipe will give a nice low friction while still being long enough for the pump's beat. So we'll put in a long feed pipe here to generate this supply head. Then just put in the delivery line and check your delivery head. So this is a good example of how you can put in an efficient system even if it appears you have no supply head. These system plans are a good guide and fairly accurate for distances, but should always be checked with a laser level. Satellite imaging may not always be accurate, especially around wooded areas and banks and gullies. 